Окей, okay, день добрий, панове, пані. Um, glad to be here. Thank you very much for coming to be with us today. Uh, yeah, I see good, uh, good interest uh, to our business development. And thank you for being with us and trusting in, in, in us. So in our agenda today, uh, so we give a uh, short uh, uh, major corporate events update of last quarter and overall 2023. Uh, financial results of uh, Q4 and uh, 2023 as well. Uh, outlook of 2024. And if you have time and uh, an interest, uh, uh, I'm very open to uh, show what's inside of a kitchen, what is new ASBIS now and what we are developing. Uh, and uh, we are very open as usual to, to, to questions and answers. So, uh, key corporate events of, of last quarter. Uh, so we co uh, complete exit from uh, Russia. Uh, it was second and last uh, subsidiary. Um, so we completed in October. Uh, during course of uh, November, the major events were that we got uh, uh, distribution agreements to our new setup on in South Africa. Uh, not only Seagate and uh, Manga Nolason, but uh, we also uh, managed to get uh, distribution contracts with Apple for South Africa, and we are preparing now a uh, start of operations together with the vendor. Uh, we also acquired two BNO stores uh, in South Africa. Um, and we, uh, in December, we were comfortable to pay interim uh, dividends, uh, 20 cents per share. I hope you like it. I like it. Uh, yeah, in a, in a quarter of, uh, 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 of uh, from October to December, uh, we had growth every month. Uh, and uh, overall growth for year, uh, was uh, about 14%, which is quite strong growth. Uh, understanding in what environment we operate in, uh, in CIS and uh, Ukraine and not only. Uh, and uh, some uh, key numbers of 23 by our focus areas. Uh, our IT uh, information and communication technologies distribution uh, uh, we delivered growth and we serve about 16,000 resellers uh, through uh, our subsidiaries in, in uh, 34 countries. Uh, in uh, solutions uh, to enterprise business, again, our uh, business unit uh, uh, or B2B part of ASBC, it's a reselling business unit which address directly to uh, business and customers. They serve 19,000 small, medium, and large size enterprises directly. Um, so it's in house uh, uh, and so very, uh, very strong strengths or very serious strengths. Uh, in uh, robotic, we focus, we continue to focus to develop solutions in, uh, in five categories. I will give you a bit more flavor later on. Uh, consumer distribution uh, served uh, more than 7,000 uh, uh, or sell through more than 7,000 stores plus e commerce. Um, our retail business unit now consists of uh, uh, 42 doors, 36 Apple uh, premium reseller and, and mono brand, and six BNO uh, stores already. Uh, so, and, and last year uh, it showed quite good strength and development. Trade-in business unit, Breezy, managed to be number one in CIS already. Um, that's a great part of our results as well. I can see that, uh, to serve the sustainable economy. Uh, and uh, uh, in portfolio of our corporate venture investment, we have uh, 15 startups. Some of them, as you know, are uh, originated uh, in the house. And, uh, and but multiple we invested too, uh, and uh, it's already quite significant portfolio. So basically, with this, we also not only deliver result now, but we 
preparing and developing uh, our future. <clears throat> Which we see not just in, in the distribution of uh, third party products, uh, as we declared to you. A very important uh, portion of development last year, it's uh, uh, upgrades of our distribution centers. We upgrade, we managed last year to upgrade Czech Republic. We upgraded very seriously and moved in already a uh, e uh, uh, distribution center in uh, Emirates. And we open a completely new one in South Africa. So basically, from distribution perspective, uh, this upgrade allow us to, co to, to, to support the growth. Uh, and uh, as a Prague distribution center is great, not only for Central and Eastern Europe and CIS, but also for North West Africa. Uh, Dubai uh, really can support now growth in Gulf and uh, North East Africa. And uh, South Africa is part of our development strategy, business development strategy and expansion to Africa. Uh, so South Africa is great base to address not only market of South Africa itself and uh, not only union of the countries around it, but all sub-Sahara. Because there are many interesting markets. Yes, they're complicated. This, yes, they're emerging. Uh, but uh, as you know, we as we through our life, we are dealing with emerging and complicated <laughs> markets. Uh, and in portfolio of uh, uh, of our private labels, uh, uh, what is our brands, uh, and uh, we focus on computing, on robotic, on electronics, gaming, medtech, biotech, uh, uh, energy, uh, and sustainability. So we add uh, during course of year several uh, uh, new investments. Uh, we did, uh, yeah, I did my Christmas shopping as well end of the year. So you bought a few extra companies. Costa, now is your part. Yes. I'll be your clicker. You'll be my clicker. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for uh, being here. And it is a great pleasure for uh, seeing you. But I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, I repeat, then uh, thank you for being here. Great pleasure to see you all. Uh, a lot of investors were looking to see the chairman and the CEO. Here he is. He still exists with the company. Uh, he didn't vanish. Uh, well, it's uh, for us a very good opportunity uh, to meet with all of you. And feel free to ask uh, any questions you might have and stop us uh, at any point in time. Uh, I will start from what has happened and what was the story behind uh, the one-off events uh, affecting our results in uh, quarter four. Uh, actually, affecting our results, uh, this happened in January, but we had to report it in, uh, in quarter four. We had to make and close the, the books uh, uh, for 2023. Um, we made and signed an agreement in October, uh, and we sold off the uh, last operation we had in, in Russia. I want to remind us all that when the war started exactly two years ago, the group had more than 120 million of assets in Russia. Uh, it used to be our biggest market. Uh, by assets, I mean uh, inventories, receivables, and not only equity. Uh, we managed through very hard work, but very also through consistency to export the majority of, uh, of the assets from the country. And in uh, October, we felt that we, it was a good opportunity for us uh, to completely quit uh, and leave the market, having found a buyer to undertake uh, the uh, the remaining of the assets. Uh, everything was looking fine until uh, January when we found out that uh, the regime, when they registered the, uh, the agreement, the regime decided to confiscate all assets of the buyer, given that they believed they were helping an unfriendly country, uh, an unfriendly company from an unfriendly country to get uh, rid of, uh, to export uh, cash out of the country. Therefore, they blocked everything, thus the inability of the buyer to pay uh, the, uh, 
the group back uh, the amounts we agreed. Now, uh, we knew that uh, we would have the so-called reclassification of foreign exchange, which was a non-cash item, and we expected to have it, uh, and it wouldn't have, because it didn't really have any impact in our cash flows or any impact Reserves. on our uh, equity. Uh, but uh, the majority of the, and the real losses came from the impairment and the provisions we had to undertake for an approximate uh, of 13.5 million uh, US dollars due to what I have just described before uh, and due to the unforeseen actions of uh, confiscating the assets by the uh, regime. Uh, other than this, uh, with, with this uh, out of the equation, the group has managed to deliver uh, a net profit for the year of 78 million, which is the best uh, result ever uh, for the group. Uh, despite all this uh, and having seen how the company performed, we feel very uh, satisfied with the result. Uh, it is what we have expected. Uh, unfortunate events happen, and they happen for a reason. Finally, we are uh, totally out of uh, Russia, and we look forward to a much brighter future. Uh, touching the quarter, uh, it was a very good quarter uh, for uh, the group, delivering a net income of 27.1 million, uh, sustaining a margin above 8%, which uh, is becoming uh, a challenge, but uh, the group manages it. Uh, revenues uh, growing by 50, 14 uh, percent uh, and the growth at all levels and at all lines uh, of the income statement. Point, please. Um, yeah, we cannot really touch uh, the EBIT and uh, the net income given uh, that uh, everything uh, has sat in this uh, uh, quarter and have affected significantly uh, the numbers. Uh, uh, I repeat that uh, what we consider uh, as a result of quarter four is 27 million, not 2.1 million. Uh, and uh, this, uh, again, uh, will be uh, following us. However, uh, our uh, reliability and our uh, consistency in reporting, uh, I think, uh, should uh, prevail going forward. Uh, growth rates across all key countries we operate. Uh, with uh, Kazakhstan and Ukraine leading uh, the way. But uh, allow me to touch and mention uh, the result which make us uh, very happy, and this is Poland, how uh, fast Poland is uh, growing. Uh, you asked me a couple of uh, quarters ago what the plan is for Poland. I told you top five. Uh, I think uh, they are very close uh, in achieving it, and it is uh, quite uh, a very good result uh, from a very good team we have uh, in the country. Uh, Central Eastern Europe uh, is, the, is the region that uh, drove uh, the growth rates uh, of uh, quarter four uh, with 36% year-on-year growth. And again, uh, what I said about Poland indicates uh, uh, what has happened together with the uh, Czech Republic. They were uh, the fastest growing markets of ours. Obviously, Slovakia also has always been extremely strong for the group. Um, Western Europe uh, also uh, driving uh, ahead with uh, a 19 percent growth with what we have declared already and what the opportunities are for the group, uh, given the consolidation happening um, with uh, a number of vendors, giving us uh, the opportunity to sell more and more products into Western European countries. In uh, product lines, uh, smartphones remained uh, the number one uh, top seller for our uh, uh, company. However, the computer components like CPUs and the server blocks and the SSDs are driving again uh, higher, not because the market is increasing, but because the group is able to undertake significant market share from uh, distributor, other distributors. And this happens because suppliers in their decision to consolidate the market, one of the preferred uh, distributors is ASPIS in all territories we operate. Uh, so far we saw uh, major uh, 
major vendors of ours uh, cutting down distributors uh, and keeping us as either the one or uh, one of the uh, distributors in the country. Uh, we believe that we have a very strong position with the majority of our vendors and we are in a position to gain from <coughs> competition uh, going forward. The gross profit margin of ours uh, stabilized uh, uh, above 8%. Uh, it is uh, a story that we have been discussing uh, for many, many quarters now, whether the margins are sustainable uh, at these levels. What we can uh, see and what we are striving forward is to undertake all these actions, all these investments to make uh, the gross profit margins uh, remain at uh, these high levels. Uh, it, it was very difficult for us to bring the margin uh, at this level. It is it's even more challenging to keep it. But like I said, the group is undertaking all these measures, undertaking all these investments to make it happen. Uh, yeah, the above 8% is our uh, constant target, but we see how it will go and whether uh, this will happen going forward. Uh, at least in the long run, we believe we are on the right track to achieve uh, higher margins. The SGNA costs, uh, what uh, the investments obviously come with a cost, and uh, we all uh, know that uh, we have been growing in terms of uh, uh, cost together with our profitability, obviously. Uh, worth mentioning that in the quarter four, 23, there is a 3 million uh, selling expenses which relate to uh, a specific uh, provision in Russia. Uh, other than this, uh, our year-on-year uh, -year employment uh, has grew uh, significantly due to, like uh, I said before, the amount of investments we undertook, the amount of uh, projects we are in engaging into is significant and the quality as well as the quantity of employees is growing in growing in terms of uh, average uh, employee cost because it's one thing uh, hiring people in warehouses it's another thing hiring uh, robotics uh, developers uh, we're talking about a completely different skill set and a completely different obviously uh, salary packaging uh, full year results, I said it, uh, we repeat it, uh, 78 million reached uh, the, the total amounts without the one-off events. Uh, 78 million which was in our uh, region of, uh, of forecast, uh, the forecast which was considered by a lot uh, very challenging at uh, the early days of last year. It was uh, a forecast we gave uh, because we felt uh, confident and because we felt strong uh, of delivering, and here it is uh, delivered. We believe that um, the forecasts uh, are there to be met and not uh, just to be given uh, out to the market. This is what uh, we plan to do also this year sometime in spring. Uh, we are currently discussing and reviewing uh, all the uh, ingredients around uh, the forecast, so we expect to give uh, another forecast for the year 24 sometime in spring. The cash engaged in, uh, in the working capital, uh, I mean, uh, the favorite analyst of the group was asking whether we will make uh, the positive uh, from uh, uh, cash from operating activities. The answer is there. The group managed to turn it around completely as it was expected because we all knew why we faced some challenges at the end of, at the beginning of this year, of the current, of last year, sorry, because of uh, the very big project we undertook with Apple. Uh, we expected that in quarter four it would have been uh, positive, and here it is that uh, the group has managed to almost. Uh, uh, reach uh, 102 million uh, improvement, uh, making the company positive from operating activities, but also having a very strong cash on its balance sheet. Uh, in deadness, uh, we believe that uh, we are in a very, very uh, good place uh, with our uh, uh, 
uh, gearing, with our uh, leverage, uh, it, excluding the factoring advances end of the year, we almost had zero debt uh, as a company. With the factoring advances, which we do not consider real debt since it's backed out with uh, uh, receivables, uh, it's uh, almost nothing. We believe that uh, the group has all these uh, financial facilities, but also the headroom uh, to be uh, continuing its growth story uh, healthily. And uh, I will move back to Sergey now, the word, so he will give us a bit more flavor of what we expect to see for 2024. Uh, and we are ready to take uh, any questions you might have. Thank you, Costa. So, uh, 2024 uh, Q1 looks uh, uh, promising. We do not expect uh, 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 serious growth, but it will be growth. And it's come uh, from our geographies in CIS, uh, from uh, Middle East, here from Central and Eastern Europe, uh, uh, Poland so demonstrates also tremendous growth year on year. Um, and from product lines as well. Uh, we have more product lines uh, to address, um, but we need time to phase them uh, in. Yeah, that's for Q1, it's uh, 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 single growth, but serious in, in pro increase we expect from second. Uh, outlook by, by different perspectives, uh, products, uh, Okay, uh, Apple and PI was quite strong. Uh, so strong demand on the markets uh, for Apple products, and it's uh, yeah biggest vendor of ours. Uh, we have uh, from last year much stronger emphasis on uh, private labels of ours, upgraded and uh, renewed uh, management. Uh, we uh, and we as we want uh, private labels to grow much fast and to be bigger contributor to, to group results. Uh, robotic solutions, uh, yeah, it, it, we have sales, uh, but uh, it, you know, this year we don't see it to be a super big or, or a very serious contributor to, to revenue, but it will grow. And uh, sustainable products or second life products uh, from Breezy, that's where we expect also serious growth. Uh, but uh, data center uh, solutions and data center products, uh, as you know, we do and servers and storage and, and networking. Uh, There's strong contributors and uh, uh, multinational a branded and uh, from building blocks what we have. Uh, from market's perspective, uh, so we continue to focus on uh, on CIS, uh, but of course with Epson of Russia and, uh, and Belarus. But uh, as you know, we relocated lots of competent resources to uh, other CIS countries. We call it F5 or F6. It's focus six countries, which already substitute loss of business uh, uh, in Belarus and partially in Russia. And they're growing quite significantly. Gulf area, uh, also serious uh, development uh, in terms of sales. Uh, we don't need much of uh, infrastructure development. We did it <coughs> last year. Uh, Africa, South Africa, and not only. We already, uh, our major focus this year in Africa will be South Africa itself. But we want to make a good base and foundation to expand from there to sub Sahara. We have already sales force there. We already having orders. It's not new. We already know the markets. We know the customers. We, we deal with the risks. Uh, and we have this experience. Uh, Central and Eastern Europe, uh, uh, okay, we have uh, dependence of uh, Slovakia, for example, on uh, 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 government spending. It was great last year. Uh, we'll see how it goes. In multiple countries, of course, it will be impact of uh, elections. Uh, but we don't see that it should impact our business significantly due to diversification, what we have on the outline markets and product lines. Uh, from clients' uh, standpoint and customer base of ours, 
I, I gave you a picture that we are no longer just distributor addressing goods through resellers uh, or through retailers. Uh, we have different business units. Uh, uh, our retail business unit, B2B reselling business units addressing uh, business, I mean, B2B business and customers direct uh, from small to large enterprises, scalable with support of uh, of ASBIS, of course, uh, and uh, uh, consumers through uh, our retail business unit and through distribution, uh, also significant. Uh, so basically, we have much stronger touch than I would say a few years, a couple of three, four years ago with end customers rather than being just addressing to resellers in the, in the past. It gives from my perspective, it gives good value and good opportunity uh, uh, to the business. Risks. Uh, we all know unstable uh, geopolitical uh, conditions. We are dealing already for a couple of years. We don't see uh, serious improvements. In fact, uh, there are more now in, uh, in Asia and Middle East. Um, we have to, to take it in consideration, uh, but in this environment, we, we, are, we, we, we monitor instantly and we mitigate uh, our risks. Uh, as a result, also what we see, it's a much softer uh, consumer uh, appetite on the spendings, uh, not only IT, but consumer electronic in general. So this is environment we are again dealing with, meaning if you don't do something for to support something new additional, uh, then we have risk that the business could be flat. Supply chain disruptions continue. Recently, this Yemen shipments from China uh, again and again, not only COVID. As you, as you remember, COVID we passed quite well uh, with all the ob obstacles. Yeah, grow, growing in HR and cost of HR, we need uh, for new businesses, we need competent resources. Uh, and uh, we need to support growth where we see them, uh, 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 create opportunities. In terms of opportunities, uh, consumer demand to be rebound, yes, we, we hope uh, in certain segments. Uh, but we are addressing more products to portfolio as through this we want to grow. Uh, we addressing more focus on uh, 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 sales for adding sales force in the markets in the segments where it makes sense. Um, uh, with uh, private labels, we see uh, much bigger opportunity to grow than only uh, 34 countries where as we operate locally. Uh, they have multiple products, but we. Uh, asked last year to empower significantly product lines of our private labels. Uh, we made, uh, we reviewed our strategies uh, during course of uh, last year. Now it's execution, most important part, of course. Uh, and uh, yeah, new markets. This expansion to, to Africa, it's, uh, uh, it's strategic. It's not opportunistic for us. Uh, it is new, good set of, uh, of additional markets for the group. And we want to grab the opportunities. With, of course, we need to invest, uh, 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 but the returns are reasonably fast. Uh, on dividend payments, we mentioned already, uh, and as you see that uh, decline in net profit, we explained that was due to one of events and uh, Reclassification because forex crystallization it does not decrease it did not decrease actually uh, equity of the group in just reclassification between P and L and, uh, and and balance sheet. Yes, exit of Russia one of one of event, but uh, uh, profit from operations fundamentally is strong. So respectively. Uh, also, it is backed with improvement of cash flow, so that it gives us good comfort to continue uh, paying dividends. Uh, what, like I said, you like and I like it a lot. Um, 
and uh, yeah, we uh, we will do recommendation to AGM. Uh, and uh, yeah, balancing that's balancing uh, between uh, investment of new things and uh, and developments uh, and the ongoing business. So basically, what next? Um, like like I promised, uh, uh, what I, I want to give you a bit more flavor. What's on the hood? What inside of Asbis Kitchen now? Private labels first. Lorger, we have new strategy. It's uh, uh, it will be it is brand for PC gaming and sim racing. So we we focus on these two categories with Lorger, not only with peripherals, uh, but we want uh, uh, the brand to sell complete solutions. We see good demand. People have money. It's good toys for big boys, uh, and uh, and sim racing and PC gaming. Uh, 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 yeah, people have money, have no time, want, uh, 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 want on, on demand or, or build to order uh, solutions. We want to address solutions. I know uh, it's not only, only smart meters, which is for last last two years, uh, it's a uh, uh, really uh, hot product to sell. Uh, it's really best seller across Europe, uh, we already sell it in Africa. Great thing about Africa, their winter is when it's our sun, summer, so we sell heaters there. <laughs> when business slow down here. Uh, and um, more smart and nice domestic appliances in a big category. That's what we expect, that's what we're demanding now from IANA. Uh, and, okay, Prestigio. Prestigio, in, uh, uh, we, we, we announced a year ago that we're restructuring because I really want to have to make it premium brand. It was premium and compromised. I don't want to comp compromise it. Oh. So Prestigio is coming with premium accessories already this year. Uh, great lineup uh, and hi-fi audio. We want to play in the premium audio. We have Bang Olufsen, which is luxury audio, right? Ultimately, we want to play premium, but not entry level. That's where we see money. Uh, Perennial major focus is and will be now on uh, uh, on the IoT platform, which we extended, uh, and robotics management now on this platform. So robots and sensors can collaborate, and this is one of our strengths. Uh, uh, it, there are no many companies in the world who have, uh, uh, who able to uh, to operate and to manage complexes of uh, robots and uh, and uh, IoT sensors. Um, that's major focus of Perennial. So there will be more on, on the backend. Uh, we may uh, put him on the platform to or to Aros. Uh, we discuss it already internally. Canyon. They have very good devices in the portfolio. They had limitation last year, uh, but they were they get used in the past to sell in CIS, Russia, Belarus, etc. So it took them some time to understand that for Eastern Europe, for, for Middle East, for Western Europe, well, there are uh, another products are demanded. They are there. They are, uh, really uh, they have great opportunities. The engaging uh, and expanding with their uh, with their products across retailers, consumer electronic retailers, and uh, mobile retailers as well, uh, and uh, telco operators. Uh, so prestigious solutions they also enlarge their portfolio. We have now more products in the portfolio addressing conferencing and and, and uh, office uh, solutions. Uh, so private these private labels. It's uh, what I want to say. We prepare them to grow during the course of last year, uh, last year. We continue. They need some time to have these products to market, to develop products for markets. Uh, and Canyon and Aena and Logger will not play only on OEM. They do ODM and we have comfort and 
possibility to do it because of our engineering capability, because of our capability to uh, manage factories, uh, and uh, we want to leverage on that. Uh, so many products coming during course of this quarter, next quarter, but majority in second half. Um, this piece. Uh, our, pri our premium retail, uh, we expect them also to grow. They are growing, growing very healthy. It is profitable business, business unit for group. So, uh, and omni-channel, uh, not only retail, but e-tail as well. Uh, but we, we, and we plan about eight to 10 more doors to open this year. Uh, that's about uh, 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 our monobrand premium retail. Breezy, that's where B is big bet of ours. Uh, and Breezy, like I mentioned earlier, already number one in CLS. Uh, they demonstrated uh, and great solutions to trade in the uh, grading and upgrading factories of Breezy to make it really cost effective and efficient. Uh, instead of having 40 uh, human operators, uh, we do the same job with uh, 20 robots. This factory, by the way, here in Warsaw. Uh, today afternoon, I plan to, 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 to visit it again. Uh, and uh, so we hoped that we will phase it in with full power in April of this year. And it give us then quality leap uh, to uh, uh, support this uh, trading and uh, uh, grading and upgrading uh, and to grow this part of business. Uh, we have great demand. Our bottleneck is supply, but we had also bottleneck in the processes. We want, as I said, that's why automation and robotization with help of others, a uh, uh, right answer to, uh, to this need. And we plan to also to provide uh, this uh, grading as a service to third parties. A uh, few words about uh, uh, Clevetura. It's probably oldest uh, startup of ours, you know. They have, they come now uh, with the second generation. Uh, the mass production uh, of uh, standalone office keyboard uh, is uh, next quarter. Uh, but important thing that they integrating their solution. Uh, uh, already they have multiple projects with uh, multinational brands uh, for next generation laptops. So this technology been selected. So wish very good luck to them, but they can have they have opportunity to take big ticket. Uh, we will be looking for exiting soon as well because it's already there six years uh, with us. Uh, just, but I think it's we will find the right time for them. MBO Diagnostic, one of our startups, uh, uh, they have great solutions uh, for in the past uh, for. Uh, RNA viruses, including uh, coronaviruses, uh, these fast, rapid tests with AI engine uh, and cloud solution. Uh, then they extended as well. Now they're, uh, they're uh, selling uh, water quality solutions. It's for shipping industry. And latest product, what they came in, uh, uh, it is air belt. It is air quality. Uh, yeah. Uh, measuring device uh, with again with AI and, uh, and smart applications. Actually, and the reason why uh, uh, we ask them to do it because we did not find in the market nothing which was uh, for reasonable price and uh, uh, reliable and good sensors. We studied a lot because we want also to be uh, part of our IoT that this. The measuring devices work together with ventilation, smart ventilation systems, smart air conditioning, uh, uh, fully automated, and they develop it now and they're marketing now. Uh, 
already in uh, they have good orders from uh, uh, different geographies uh, and it is a result of great cooperation between our engineering and uh, ODM uh, capabilities uh, and their brands to brains to uh, make uh, these wonderful solutions. Uh, this good example of our corporate venture because they leverage on what we have and we leverage them respectively to market and to sell this product, unique products. Uh, Promet uh, or certify their production line in, in Cyprus in our facilities in our high-tech cluster in Limassol uh, already get certified and they produce collagen clean collagen it's a medical class collagens for universities and they already have orders for one year ahead uh, uh, again I believe it's it's good uh, 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 good investment. Of course, we'll see going forward. New thing, very interesting. Uh, it was also it's example how we uh, we, we do this uh, investment more than bit more than a year ago, which is provide space to few smart guys from Israel, uh, and after one year they prove they develop this solution, and it's already industrial. This year uh, they do limited production. Uh, it's pre-sold already, and what is that? I call this project monster. It is big machine, six meter high, and what it does, in input is a plastic waste, uh, output is uh, energy in terms of liquid fuel or gas, uh, and the uh, the machine uh, with all facilities which need about fifty square meters, not more produce uh, about six megawatt of electricity in one day, in 24 hours. Uh, and uh, uh, before we invested, we also now, uh, we uh, organized for them uh, meetings with uh, prospects from their customers. We see great appetite. Uh, and it's again one of the uh, examples uh, because we, as Asbis, we want to sell it in future. Also, this kind of thing. This our answer to green energy because if you talk about uh, three megawatt in, photo, in if you convert it to photovoltaic, you need three hectare of land. Yeah. And here is in fifty meters and. Of course, it's applicable to countries which uh, uh, s f select uh, uh, plastic waste to other kind of waste. Uh, but again, proven, and now it's moving to production. Uh, certification for Europe almost complete. Uh, so uh, this another example how as this is shaping future. Um, Aros. There were many questions. Why we don't see that Aros is selling, uh, already making a billion of sales after one year? No, guys. <laughs> it's not about that. Our focus is and was on, uh, on uh, uh, making solutions and selling solutions. Turnkey solutions like the serving kiosks with uh, barista quality coffee, juices, mixes. We need an order of Coca-Cola. Uh, beer serving kiosk and we serve uh, the kiosk serve different kind of beer draft first of top quality but Guinness stouts and lagers and under hood it's completely different technologies completely different gases but we want to we wanted to provide to to customers these opportunities uh, and we develop and now uh, we are testing uh, uh, very Nicely every Friday 6 p.m. in our office in Lima. So we do happy hour to, to employees and guests. Uh, in, in the same time, the team they are testing in a stress test because there are lots of <laughs> lots of people who who want it. Uh, so they fine tune the technologies, and but we are comfortable already this quarter to start marketing this. 
solutions. Security sector. So basically, uh, what we have developed is uh, uh, surveillance, video surveillance uh, uh, patrolling platform for patrolling warehouses, trade areas, parking, data centers, etc. And uh, it's patrolling, it's connected. There are three platforms in one solution. It's autonomous mobile platform. We have expertise on that. Uh, we're capable to do it, we need it. Uh, video surveillance platform. Uh, here there are many different solutions uh, from Dahua, from uh, HIC, Vision, etc. And our IoT platform. So respectively, imagine if uh, during ARM period, uh, some s uh, sensor alarm, this robot goes to that site, to that point, if uh, uh, and uh, visually give all information to security, have uh, and then can do Syrian alarm, uh, and believe me, it's much faster than human security guy. Who might be, and it doesn't sleep at night, by the way. <laughs> this solution is completed. We showcased it in, uh, uh, in November uh, in a uh, uh, trade show in Dubai. We continue to market it, uh, and we have already orders in pipeline for that. Uh, new thing also um, of Aros. One, one of the category what, where we want to play was uh, clearing, right? And uh, we sign up uh, a Chinese vendor, ch big Chinese startup, uh, with all pluses and minuses of third party, but we realized that they're not able to do a cleaning of outdoor. Same time, uh, we got uh, uh, this expertise uh, and it is second generation product. It's for outdoor cleaning, sweeper, uh, for large parking spaces, etc. First working sample of the second generation uh, we expect to, to have in Cyprus in April. Uh, again, usually it takes three, four months to tune, but this year we will start offering it. With great ROI also, not dependent on Chinese, uh, because what you do with robots, actually, uh, we take, yes, we can take mechanics from China, but we realize that we need to do so our software. We don't want to be dependent on, uh, on, on China, any vendor. And we have our own platform, so robots and sensors work to get there. Uh, that's what we are developing. Next one, uh, complex robotic solutions for warehouses. This is a sketcher for our check distribution center. We start implementation in March where a robot will offload containers, I mean, loose boxes from containers. Uh, with computer vision, recognize, sort, and we do palletizing. Also, we have yeah. multiple bottleneck in, 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 in warehousing. To offload 140 feet container, of multiple SKU, of loose boxes, because Chinese, they provide usually loose boxes, not on the pallet. It's up to seven hours. And we are getting 20 containers, for example. Huge battalion. Uh, then 60% of pallets, what we receive in a distribution center, uh, it's mixed pallets. Mix SKU, but to store it in the warehouse management system, you need to have one SKU, one cell. You need to do sorting. So I have 20 people in one shift who are sorting it there. And I want to replace it with uh, uh, four robots, uh, which and eight pallets. And we have a great politicization solution. We looked again, we looked at others. I saw Amazon video, nice offloading from container we call Amazon, say, how much is that? 200,000 euro. Thank you very much. We return on investment 10 years. Mm -mm. So we develop ours. So we have the strengths for fraction of a cost. So we have autonomous mobile platform. We have uh, a robotic arm and we have software. And 
believe me, it is not ASB's problem only. This is a very typical solution for logistics, operations, and distribution centers. So we will be offering these solutions to others. But last year, this year till now, we want to make it for our own. Again, I prefer to pilot and test it internally. But we will come to market with completely different price tag. Like others do, Hick, Hick Robotics or, or, or Amazon Robotics, etc. So palletizing solutions for, for, for uh, conveyors, we also tested markets. We understand what is needed. We develop it. We have it. We are marketing this quarter now already. Teams are trained and we're marketing it. And the reference we get from uh, prospective customers is one of the best in class solutions. And we know it. We don't repeat ours, others. More to that, uh, we have team uh, who make arms itself, motors. It took us one year from December. We are selling mot the robot motors for robots. We've been selected by three companies who uh, develop human uh, robots, humanoids. They need 16 motors. Three of the companies, they already selected 12 motors out of us. And it's not future, we start selling. Joints, all mats, we are very comfortable and we want to have one of the best in class solutions. Yes, we need time for that. But I prefer to, uh, instead of trying to sell third parties, especially Chinese, uh, I prefer we use some of the, as I said, mechanics as a building blocks, but to make the solutions, and I want to address solutions to one, different kind of solutions. I just gave you some examples. We have more solutions. Uh, and uh, yes. I, I don't say that we are not rushed to, 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 to sell. We want to sell it, but we want to sell solutions. It takes time to, 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 to develop them. We develop articles of them already. Uh, and then it's uh, project-based sales. We, because of our engineering capability, we can be comfortable to make bespoke projects for a large and medium enterprises. If I'm depend just on third party, whatever, Chinese or Japanese, I cannot offer it at all. I only can offer what they provide to me if you need to. Uh, but in the projects, we know uh, customers have different, I mean, same needs in general, but with different features. Be capable to address them. That's what I wanted to share with you guys, to give you a bit more flavor what is inside of Asbis Kitchen. Yeah, we delivered three consecutive great years. Uh, we are comfortable to do it, and, but again, we have great opportunity. Thanks God, we have great opportunities to grow and geographically and in multiple business units of ours, being breezy, robotic, etc. Uh, and we want to support the growth. Of course, we will be balancing. Uh, that's my message. Questions? Can we expect, like, so excuse me? Could you? Hello? 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 Then, uh, <laughs> oh, Tyrus. Do you expect the total dividend will be the highest in the history with dividend for last year? <laughs> the dividend has why been. not yeah. I will see but uh, yeah, we will recommend to 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 uh, oh my god AGM the dividend will be shown in the audited financial statements uh, which would be end of March our recommendation, our recommendation but, yeah, we follow protocol we yeah, yeah. we will announce end of March. it's not yet decided but uh, the opportunity is there. Well, I'm just asking about your attitude for this. You have to win. 
the major shareholders. Yes, end of March. <laughs> Could you please share with us what is your general perception of the market uh, nowadays? In the comment to the um, results, we can read that you expect market stabilization this year. However, it might occur to be an optimistic assumption. Uh, but on the other hand, let's say Gartner expects global IT hardware devices market to grow this year 5% compared to 10% declined in 2023. So the positive swing should be meaningful. And how do you perceive the, the market from your perspective? Yeah, an analysts uh, uh, say and that uh, they, uh, this year it's expected a uh, renewal cycle of uh, uh, client devices, computing devices. Uh, we definitely want to be part of it. We will be part of it. Uh, but again, uh, we are not only in IT, and again, it's also not homogeneous. You have client, you have data centers, uh, you have networking solutions, uh, yeah, but you also play in consumer electronics. So we don't depend any longer on IT. In general, uh, Jakub, uh, and reading what uh, the analysts are saying, we are also optimistic. Uh, and we also expect uh, growth. And the growth rates you mentioned are well within what we expect to see. The, the thing is, and we said it before, with the new products we managed, and the new contracts we managed to secure, we believe that uh, we will be there on these growth levels with the market. So we are also seeing, again, it will all depend not only on, uh, on the instabilities, or if the markets will finally stabilize and the inflation will stop jumping uh, with uh, the growth rates we used to have the last couple of years also. And the sentiment of, uh, of the consumer is we are looking also to change, yeah? Okay, thank you. And my another question regards your uh, costs, uh, namely headcount, because the headcount increased by 20% last year. And when we should expect this to pay off, uh, could you please maybe share with us what was the result uh, burned by Aros last year and what you expect this entity to deliver this year and when we should expect the break-even point of Aros in which year? Okay, I start from last one. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, break-even point I expect next year. Uh, we have uh, yeah, mm. optimistic plan or stretch plan to do this year, but uh, again, uh, on, uh, in this area, it's very important to to get a serious portion of a market uh, and then milk from that, like in any other sector. Um, and what was the first part? Ah, headcount. On the headcount, uh, biggest headcount growth we have from our retail business unit. That's where we have low cost labor, trade flow personnel. And uh, since uh, last year, uh, our uh, Apple uh, uh, premium retail opened extra doors, uh, six doors we open, right? Th they need staff. Uh, I've mentioned about Breezy Omnichannel. We want, we, we see it, it, it's very effective. We want to, to let them expand as well. It is head count, but it's straight floor, retail personnel, we talk. Of course, you need education personnel, you need management personnel next to them. Uh, that was, this is major dri driver of head count, uh, head count by, by bed power. You added 450 uh, employees last year and what we should expect uh, this year on in this respect. Uh, okay, last uh, last year, of course, we uh, we add uh, staff to our new operations in South Africa, right? About thirteen heads. Uh, we need more for this year since we're starting up all now. Uh, retail headcount will grow because we want to expand it with our retail. We see it healthy. Uh, and the sales force for uh, either new products in the portfolio, or it's like natural uh, growth in each country. 
uh, if, if I, we grew in Poland 60% last quarter and we want to continue to grow till the headcount. But it's relatively a fast return on investment. We talk about six months to 12 months. Yes, but uh, probably the significant part of these new employees were also connected with Aros uh, development. And do you think you know? Aros, I can tell you, uh, Aros last year eat a uh, 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 bit more than three million. Per me? About three million each. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But how many new employees were in uh, were in hired Aros? just for Aros development? I don't remember from my head. Uh, I better check and answer you in writing. Uh, but we're not talking about hundreds. No, the last uh, number we counted uh, for robotics usually was around 75 people. Uh, and uh, and again, uh, Jakob, it's one thing hiring, because <clears throat> one thing that Sergey didn't mention is the optimization of our warehousing. And by opening new warehousing, and by expanding the warehousing, obviously we needed also their headcount, not the most expensive one, but extra headcount. That's another addition to the amount you, you mentioned. Uh, on, uh, on robotics, we discussed it the other time. It is uh, a special skill set required. It is a more expensive special skill set requirement because here we are talking about uh, data analysts, but about uh, uh, engineers, about uh, software engineers, and not only very expensive set of people. We understand that the robotics, it is something that we decided is the future to invest. We are investing. And uh, yeah, we expect to have a return, but we also need to understand that we need to be patient and we need to, to do it correctly. Uh, we rushed and we made it fast uh, when we entered uh, this segment almost two years ago. But again, this gave us an edge. You will not find the solutions that we already developed uh, by any, without, any, without any other IT distributor these days. Okay, so if the question is whether we plan to increase uh, more the headcount going forward, I think our, okay, answer, no. I, 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 our answer is that with the arrows, we have reached a level where we believe we don't need more people, but we need to optimize these people. We need to optimize these processes uh, and finally get the, the expected return because we invested to get the return, right? All right? Yes, it was a different life cycle of, uh, of uh, the project making uh, robotic business, but we are uh, dancing the way uh, forward. And uh, we want to see it uh, happening because we all believe that it is the future uh, going forward. Okay, thank you. And moving other side, you can see some space uh, for uh, headcount decrease following deployment of these robotics solutions in your warehouses or in on different field. Yeah. This already said, you said that uh, uh, we, we used the robotics that we develop ourselves to optimize uh, our own in-house uh, operations uh, in uh, our warehouse in Czech Republic with uh, Breezy and uh, with the palletizers, we are now uh, entering into that save mode, uh, saving modes. Uh, instead of hiring 10, 20 people in the warehouse, you, you deploy uh, five, six uh, robots. Okay, thank you. More questions, please. Last, oh. This is this merging. Uh, I, th- I can hear some hesitation about the, uh, the, the gross profit margin in long term. Uh, if this uh, 8 per, uh, point, uh, percent points are sustainable this year, what you expect? You didn't hear any hesitation. I don't know from where you got the, the hesitation. <laughs> Was this refer to to, to uh, endless debate between you and us? Uh, the gross profit uh, margins, uh, it's an ongoing effort. What I said actually, and I repeat it, it was quite difficult to reach there. It's even more difficult to sustain there. It's not impossible though. We are doing it and we have been doing it consistently. Uh, I, I understand that you remember 
because you follow the company for many uh, months, uh, years now, that uh, we had arguments in this room about uh, how sustainable they are. They are sustainable. What we need to ensure is we, we need to refine constantly uh, our uh, position, our portfolio, and uh, always finding new uh, ways of raising uh, the bar because the competition is there. Uh, Apple is a commodity these days, and it, it's not getting more for the distributor. But with all these actions we undertake, uh, we spoke about uh, Breezy, we spoke about private labels, and new uh, product portfolio we add, then uh, we believe we sustained. Uh, and we are in a good shape to sustain gross profit margins. No hesitation. Okay. <laughs> Um, and the second question is, um, uh, the Windows will stop support uh, current version, I think, next year. Uh, do you think uh, it's going to have some impact on your revenues in the future? That's exactly what we refer to uh, the driver of uh, the, uh, one of the drivers of the co computer's uh, renewal cycle now. It's uh, that Windows stops supporting this year, this uh, 10, if I remember. Uh, yeah. So this will happen this year, yes? This year? Yeah. Also, okay. yeah, for this year. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Link. One more. And also maybe one question about the very popular topic of AI. So do you have any business and in which areas do you see any areas of growth there? I don't know, in data centers or networking or maybe some other things? Uh, yeah, okay. It is definitely a very popular topic. We uh, now users of uh, uh, ourselves, I, I, I now uh, pra start practicing uh, uh, Microsoft Copilot uh, in helping me personally in my work. But uh, in terms of business, absolutely, we have multiple projects and more and more projects uh, with uh, AI being either machine learning uh, or neurovision. For example, for, for Breezy, we're developing uh, uh, AI uh, data set and uh, uh, machine to recognize scratches on the surface of uh, smartphones, right? Uh, this is AI driven. Uh, we have uh, now uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, detecting uh, measure, medical measuring <coughs> devices of MBO, uh, all products of the are AI driven. Uh, and uh, I believe it more and more will be coming. But we use AI engines as well of third parties for industrial design. We start practicing it as well, just to get first ideas. Designs complete by people. But these creative ideas, our designers employ AI already. Uh, it's, it's, it's coming around us. And uh, uh, yes, we, we have the capability. I got a uh, question. But we are not a company who develop AI software. No, we use we use third-party software uh, uh, as uh, for, as a building blocks in our solution. I got a question on uh, South Africa and a contract with Apple. How many distributors are on this market, and what are your targets? The two, we will be second distributor. Uh, plus, uh, Apple has uh, Apple sell to or some two telecom operators directly. Uh, so total available market for us, the size of opportunity I quantify to uh, first year uh, about sixty million, second year one hundred fifty million. Third year above two hundred. Thanks God, Asbis has opportunity to grow. Just to mention that uh, the contract kicks in from second half of this year. It's from uh, June. From June. 
Uh, I would like to ask you a question about about you getting uh, out of Russia. Should we understand that your revenue growth from Kazakhstan will be lower in the upcoming months, or there's no connection at all? Zero. There is zero connection between. Banks do not work. There are no payments supported already for a while. But last year, it already not existed. Uh, and more, moreover to that, uh, our revenue in Kazakhstan is mostly up. Uh, we are the number one distributor of Apple in Kazakhstan. One and only. The one and only. And uh, we all understand that the Apple, um, the Apple products are easily traceable when they are activated. So by any chance that we, our products finished in Ru end up in Russia, it will be immediately recognized. The group has declared and has all these mechanisms in place not to allow any product of ours to go to Russia. All right, we have zero uh, impact from what uh, you mentioned. And to add on to what we are saying is that um, uh, the, the banks in Kazakhstan, they cut ties now with Russia uh, because there is an ongoing a question mark about uh, Russia and Kazakhstan, Russia Kazakhstan and Turkey so, yeah. and all these countries and stuff. Uh, we declare and we are confident that uh, none of our products uh, reach uh, Russia, even indirectly. Yeah, uh, Apple, uh, we have good, I mean, Apple measures activations, uh, they can do it by geography and they confirm to us that we control our channel quite well. We don't have leakage much, very minor, but when it sells through retail, uh, Kazakhstan, Russia, border, okay, retailers, people can come. So we control it very Thank you. I wish others could control this <laughs> one. That way. Uh, can you uh, give us some comment on the situation in Ukraine? And uh, the second would be what what's the, do you expect in uh, terms of the uh, credit costs? Uh, in terms of the uh, level of the uh, financing, uh, external financing, and and also the uh, high cost in percentage point. Okay, I will take the financing uh, question then. Um, the the last uh, uh, years we saw a significant increase in the interest rates across all of the countries we operate across all banks, uh, central banks of countries we operate. This has reached a level where we believe that we found uh, we are very close to the ceiling, if not finally at the ceiling. Uh, we expect this uh, to stabilize at these levels. Uh, maybe another hike or maybe we see towards the end of the year some uh, decrease. Uh, the, the group, though, because it, it is expecting to grow, it is expecting to utilize financial facilities to uh, continue hedging the local balance sheets uh, and avoiding uh, foreign exchange losses. So we believe that uh, with the level of business we run and with the level of facilities we have, the financing cost might be a bit uh, increased if before it starts getting down. Now, uh, the situation in Ukraine, I will make a minor comment, and then I will allow Sergei to say some, uh, something more. Uh, recently, uh, we hear from colleagues and from the team that uh, uh, the airstrikes in uh, the major cities have eased down somehow, but uh, every now and then they have uh, alarms that they have to go to the shelters. Um, the situation is extremely f uh, volatile and fragile in the country. But uh, yes, uh, there is business going on. There, is, uh, there are a lot of uh, questions now as regards to the Ukrainian relations with the Western world, uh, more specifically with the US, and whether the funding continues and at what level uh, the funding continues, because we all understand that the Ukrainian economy is boosted by this uh, uh, external uh, funding. 
Uh, however, we, we see uh, good sales from Ukraine. Ukraine remains our second biggest market uh, uh, in the, for the group. And uh, yeah, a possible stoppage of the war obviously will only make a good to, to the country, but also to the humanity. Uh, this, as a general comment, Sergei, I don't know if you want to add uh, anything else. No, I think you covered everything. The uh, only what really worries us is this uh, border uh, uh, strikes between Poland and Ukraine. It's really impact uh, transportation of most to country. Uh, okay, we uh, we just follow and work in the environment. We admire our colleagues in Ukraine who really manage the business uh, very well and being kind of this uh, Syrians and uh, missile attacks. Uh, that's environment they work. But it is demand on night, for sure. Fine. Kyoto. Yes. Uh, a couple of questions from my side. Uh, the first one is a follow up from Jakub question regarding Aros. Uh, what was actually the financial result of the last year and what is the target for the, this year for this company? Well, last year, even find the sales. Uh, I mean, uh, financial re uh, net profit, net, net result, loss, actually. Net, net result. <laughs> yes, net result. Yeah, it was about, as I mentioned, uh, three uh, million something. Okay. Uh, from the business unit. Uh, this year, uh, in the budget, if I recall, it's about one million. Okay, so maybe. two million in of improvement. And uh, the second question regards uh, new warehouses opening. And what are your predictions for the amount of money needed to uh, upstock these uh, warehouses? We will absorb it last year. Okay. It's and already, uh, we did it last, during course of last year. Okay, also Kazakhstan, a warehouse? No, Kazakhstan is, uh, no, no, Kazakhstan is a new one. Okay, so uh, what are your predictions uh, of uh, additional uh, inventory needed? for these uh, new warehouses? Additional inventory needed if you have additional business. Uh, yes, but look, we have uh, uh, Kazakhstan, we complete uh, uh, budget review with them, uh, and we expect uh, net profit in, in, in uh, increment. Uh, that's for sure, but uh, I meant uh, the cash flow. Impact. You mean capex? Uh, cash flow, capex. Actually, cash flow impact. Uh, we're mainly working capital. It's self-financed. There, uh, uh, we do not uh, uh, set them. We do not put uh, own finance there. We uh, uh, the new warehouse is financed by the bank, the local bank. So there, is, there won't be any impact on our working capital ability. Uh, no, but Peter say you need more inventory. You need right. more cash. But this is great. I have more business. That's that's what I'm doing. I know that, but uh, I just, uh, in cash flow perspective, uh, uh, analyze this because uh, it impacts your dividend. Uh, it won't. Uh, oh, you, you don't know if you went from there to dividend. No. Uh, <laughs> cash look, I tell you, uh, uh, currently, I have uh, inventory in Kazakhstan in three different locations. It's very difficult to manage. It's already for years. So we reach bottleneck. That's for, and we see opportunity to grow because we have more products. We are adding more and more products to portfolio, right? So uh, that's for this distribution center. We'll streamline our process. When you have inventory in three locations, it's basic of supply chain. You inevitably you have more age stock and you have uh, uh, obsolete inventory as well. Sorry, uh, inventory. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, lack of uh, lack of supply. 
yeah, uh, it's improving, it's to improve processes. And uh, if we have if we have need of more inventory, it's not driven by size of our warehouse. It is driven by uh, sales opportunity. We have our KPIs on inventory days that drive our supply. Okay, but we have I, cash and vendors support us. We have lines from them. Okay, I thought uh, that uh, so many warehouses will need some uh, doubling uh, of uh, at least part of uh, uh, item SKUs. We need. Can you repeat, please? I thought that uh, many warehouses need uh, doubling some part of SKUs, because uh, you need it uh, to improve your uh, delivery in uh, all of uh, warehouses. So uh, we have uh, we follow. Okay, if we, you, we, you we don't recognize that problem, problem, perhaps uh, no. It we is. Uh, it is really. Uh, it is not problem. Uh, we are solving our problem. Okay. With that. Uh, other question regards uh, African markets. Uh, do you have an uh, projection for the size in uh, 2024? What is your target? And uh, will you provide us with information in financial statement about the sales in African markets? We plan to do that, yes. Yeah, but when we, we will deliver this forecast, uh, we will also uh, uh, disclose this uh, now. Okay. And the last question uh, regards uh, uh, net profit and not, uh, results of 2024, because you mentioned uh, a couple of times that you plan to uh, grow on uh, revenues, but uh, I'm not sure if I uh, read it correctly. You're not so confident about uh, the growth of uh, net profit. Uh, it's not that we are not confident, uh, but uh, uh, again, the strategy is to balance between realized profit and support growth opportunity. Because, uh, yes, we can milk everything now, even from arrows, we can milk, just re remove uh, 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 competent resources who develop uh, uh, and capabilities to develop your solutions, move to low margin distribution, right? And okay, I can show good result. But are we here for one year result? No, we are here to balance it and we demonstrate to you three consecutive years that we deliver results and we grow. But I, for us, and uh, important to invest uh, and to sub, sorry to support growth uh, with uh, uh, retail, with Breezy, with other solutions. Because I want to make another level of us this with new us. That's what I'm going. For. Okay. And what part of business in your opinion can wait on uh, uh, 2024 results? Because you mentioned that uh, Aros should improve. I think that Breezy is uh, also uh, growing business and should improve results uh, even in short term. Uh, should we expect that Africa could, could bring uh, more uh, losses than 2023? Yeah. So which business is uh, that you mentioned that you need to support? Breezy, we will support. But, but again, we have opportunity to expand. We have opportunity to expand it to Middle East. We have opportunity to expand it to Eastern Europe. And okay, I can milk a little bit sitting, continue to sit just in CIS. But it is a very limited business. What should I do? I have opportunity to grow, to expand to other countries. What must be my strategy? To milk now or to support the growth? Yes, it will be extra manpower. You need to increase expenses for some while, right? But with expectation to then to reach much bigger return. And that's what business is about in my view. Okay, and 
Now is the last question. What is the what was the total investment in your startup portfolio, and do you plan to increase it more, or is it uh, already? Uh, I believe it's enough, but you never know. <laughs> For example, with Aros, we also open to grow through acquisitions. If you find we are looking uh, acquisitions, uh, uh, we are open for that to uh, increase and to empower again us with being preferred supply in this thing. Uh, but uh, in terms of startups, okay, Mario is pulling strings, so it's okay. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? You have a question, Ivana? <laughs> <laughs> Last bets. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the bus. I put it with that. Last bets. All right. Done? Yeah. Very stop, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.